What happened? Hey, on the front with I think early. Oh, we just brought you with Wayne and another guy attacked us. Some guys jumped. Okay, look at that Kelly bit. That's why I said right. Yeah, that was perfect. I just went to the front with the front, and then I had to go. And I was like, if I go full. He didn't attack you, I couldn't have went further. Yeah, exactly. That was pretty close, and there was just one guy left in the end for him. Yeah. Like, oh, one key to go, one key to go. And the sprints was headwind pretty yeah. really tricky. Yeah. 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 yeah, like I took him, and then a guy attacked, and I got on. Yeah. Yeah. Then I went, caught him, carry on until about five or six and then another guy attacked. Two guys from Jelly Valley. Yeah. Then I just got everything I could to get into the wheel, and then I slung out, and he was about to put the wheel with five minutes to go. The last 5k was that wheel was low, and then comes this guy. Look at him! Where is the pace of this peloton? I know. Normally you can't just step. Covering every time they went, and once they went, I was just like, in the end, I was like, oh, I'm gonna blow up in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So I just started drilling it, and then all of a sudden he was back. Yeah, all of a sudden he was there. I was like, no, Oh, Baden, what does this win mean for the team? Oh, it's pretty pretty special. We've uh, been training, a few of us have been up at uh, altitude in the Italy, training hard, getting ready for this race. And we've been uh, sort of practicing our sprint drills a little bit. Um, we've, we've, we've watched Michael just get stronger and stronger over the last month. So, uh, I mean, I knew he could, I knew he could win. I thought he would win yesterday too. We should really have two wins by now. But, uh, you know, just got to keep him out of trouble and he's, he's talented enough to do the rest himself. So, uh, it's pretty special. So what happened out there that it ended up being such a big group coming in? What do you think, what's your read on the race? Oh, it's, the hills aren't as big as they seem on the, profile, put it that way. So we sort of figured out this morning that it might not be as bad as it looks on the profile. So we just hung in there hoping for that exact scenario and it worked out. Series leaders jersey today. Second on the stage yesterday. We talked about this earlier, but it's got to be huge to finally move to the top step of the podium for you. Yeah, it's definitely been a long, long process this year. I haven't had a win yet. I've had lots of seconds, but yeah, come pulling off the win on the second stage of the Tour of Utah this year. It's, it's, um, yeah, it was really a goal for me this year to um, come into this this tour with good form and um, yeah, hopefully keep building up to it. Yeah, today I felt a lot better than yesterday. Um, I've been in, um, I stayed in Brian Heads for two weeks before the race started, so I um, sort of adjusted to the altitude and the time change from Europe. So, um, yeah, the team had uh, really good confidence in me going into this, this tour, and um, yeah, they played all their cards for me too. But um, yeah, I was, I was lucky to get a, to have a good sprint and a good team to uh, put me in the right position. The final few games. Obviously, tomorrow's stage is going to be a tough day for a sprinter. Any more stages on your radar? I think you might be able to get a win here in Utah. Um, I think for us, tomorrow will be oh, a rest day, if you can call it that. Um, yeah, so we'll probably um, just back it off for tomorrow, and then um, we'll ramp it up again from the grid on um, what day is it? Friday? Yeah, Salt Lake City. Yeah. All right, we'll look forward to that. Uh, let's